<sighs> I almost don't even know how to start this video. I feel like I'm being punked, okay? I pulled this class action settlement up. I started reading through it and I was like, wait, this cannot be true. It just can't be. Yeah. I'm just going to go <laughs> to the site and, and then we're going to go to the actual settlement site because this, I cannot believe this. I do not, I don't get it. I guess I do get it. And I guess I don't. Wesson Oil False Advertising, $3 million class action settlement. I actually need to come out of this jacket because I'm a little warm. Today is May 17th. This is showing up on this website May 12th. So I'm only five days behind them putting this up here. I definitely think I'm going to have to sign up for their newsletter because <laughs> I need to see more lawsuits like this. Now I get it. Okay. It was false advertising. Let's go into the details here so that you can see exactly what was said and how much money. This is the shocking part out of this $3 million class action settlement. I want to show you the amount of money that they're talking about. Let's scroll down here. So Wesson cooking oil. I don't know if you guys have ever used that. I have before. I don't use oil that often. A lot of times we're using like olive oil or something like that. Conagra Foods Inc. has agreed to a $3 million class action settlement Resolving claims it falsely advertised certain Western oil products as natural when in fact they weren't. The class comprises all natural persons living in one of the 11 states who purchased Western oil products in that state for personal non-commercial use. And these are the states listed. And then look at the period of time here. Just for California alone, that is a 10 year period from 2007 to 2017. How many of those did you purchase a year? How would you even be able to remember that? I mean, we're talking 2023 now, so it doesn't even come up to this year. But who's going to remember that? Look, for Oregon, it goes all the way back to 2006. 2006, you could like have a baby and have that thing in high school under this time period. That is how far back this goes. Wesson vegetable oil, <clears throat> Wesson canola oil, Wesson corn oil, and Wesson best blend, all of which were marketed and sold as being natural during the applicable class periods. And we're going to go to the website in just a second. And this is what they're saying. Plaintiffs in a class action lawsuit alleged Conagra acted illegally in marketing and selling Western oils made from genetically modified ingredients, GMOs, as natural. Under the terms of the Western Oil Settlement Agreement, class members can receive a cash payment after administrative costs and other expenses are deducted from the settlement fund. So now it sounds like the settlement fund was this $3 million that we saw up here. It sounds like that's what that is. And then, of course, it says here they're going to be deducting a few things, administrative costs and other expenses. You guys have an idea of what that is. Now, here is the part that I find shocking. Class members who submit a valid and timely claim form may receive 15 cents. That looks like 15 cents to me. That looks like 15 cents per unit of Wesson oil products purchased during the applicable class period in their state. Now think about it though. If over a 10 year period, you you purchased one a month, then that could possibly add up to something. But seriously, we're going to start at the 15 cents level. That's what it's worth when you falsely advertise something of the settlement fund. 15, 575,000 will be allocated to member, only members of New York and Oregon. So I guess there's something else going on there. They've got a final hearing, I guess, that was scheduled back in April. And then the deadline to submit is in just a few days, May 22nd. It's in just a few days. So who's eligible? 
Yes, all of the states listed their proof of purchase. Okay, let's go to this website. If you filed a claim in the previous settlement, you do not need to complete this claim form. Oh, there was a previous settlement. I wonder how much they gave back for that one. All right, instructions, file a claim, and you've got different dates there. This is the class period that you see there that I was just talking about, some 10 years and some goes back to 2006 additional funds. Again, this is what it says. It says it right here. So I'm not being punked. I'm not being punked. This is the craziest thing I've ever seen there. You know, I'm used to seeing settlements that are low, but most of the time it's, you don't find out exactly how much you're, you're going to, how much you're going to get back because they don't know how many people are actually going to file a claim. And they'll take and deduct, like I said before, the expenses and costs and the amount of money that's left over after that is the amount that gets distributed among all of the people who submit a valid claim. Once they find out that claim is valid, they say, okay, you can receive some compensation. I mean, I've gotten, you know, a couple dollars back, but to start off by saying it's going to be 15 cents per unit, I don't know who would even think that that is worth their time unless you, and remember, it, it can't be commercial. It can only be personal or non-commercial. So unless you are frying up some stuff for your family every day, this is, you're probably not going to get a whole lot back. And then how are you going to be able to say, because you know, you sign these things stating that it's the truth. How are you going to be able to, to substantiate that you purchased these products all these different times? Now, some grocery stores have those membership cards. Maybe you can pull your account from 2006 back up. I don't know. That would be interesting. You let me know in the comments because it says right here, you must complete the entire claim form and sign the claim form under penalty of perjury. So you're saying that everything you say on the on the claim form is to the best of your knowledge, correct? If you've got some questions, <laughs> you can contact these people down here. Don't call me, call them. They know all about it. And there's that information. I'm still trying to get over the 15 cents. I, unbelievable. Unbelievable. I, I would think I'm being punked, but I don't think that's the case. Let's go over here to where it says frequently asked questions and see if maybe they can clear up why so little is being offered back? Why is there a notice? Okay, well, yeah, there was a court case. Why? What is this lawsuit about? False advertising, we already know that. Why is this a class action? Yeah, okay, because there were a whole lot of people. Why is there a settlement? Well, they just decide they don't want to litigate it anymore. How do I know if I'm a part of? Which Wesson? What do I do? What do I need to provide? Here we go. What does the settlement provide? Monetary damage is $3 million. Okay. Yeah, but you don't get that. What can I get? The $0.15. Cents. Yeah. Mm. I, there's just nothing more there. When would I get payment? Okay. Final approval. Why am I get, What am I giving up to receive the payment? Well, you know, you could continue to sue, it says here. Who's going to do that? You can exclude yourself. Yeah. Do I have a lawyer in this case? These are the same questions. If you watched some of my other videos and you know, you know, these are the same questions. How will the lawyers be paid? Let's talk about that. Class counsel are not seeking their attorney's fees. However, they will be filing a motion to be paid their expenses from litigating the case since 2011 and service of wards of up to $3,000 for each of the six class representatives whose depositions were taken by Canagra and up to $1,000 for each of the seven class representatives whose depositions were not taken. The court will determine the amount of expenses and service awards, which will be paid from the settlement fund. So now you know that the attorneys are really only getting their expenses paid. So that should leave more money for the class members. All right. Um, <laughs> do I want to come to the hearing? The hearing was held April 17th. Yeah. What happens if I do nothing at all? Well, if you do nothing, you don't get a payment. Uh, 
Yeah, it says if you do nothing but file a claim under the prior settlement, you will get a payment under the new settlement. If you do nothing but you did not file a claim under the prior settlement, you will not get a payment. So they have this old settlement, new settlement thing that I obviously didn't know about. So here's some of the get more information here. If you want your 15 cents over 10 years, you know, I guess it'd be a dollar fifty if you bought at least a bottle a year. But say you bought, you know, 10 bottles a year, 12 bottles a year, if you bought one each month, then that possibly could add up to a substantial amount of money, I guess. I don't know. That's it's just not a lot of money. You guys, let me know what you think about this. I, 15 cents. I mean, you really would have to have purchased a lot of oil to be able to make this worth your time. I guess I'm not being punked. So if this gives you <laughs> some valuable information, if it is at least worth 15 cents, if this information was at least worth 15 cents, then go ahead and give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Unbelievable. Peace.